think you should be Listen to the sound of my voice. Today we're going to be playing a game called The Silent Age. Shh. Use headphones. I'm kidding, I'm not going to be talking like this the entire video. Uh, episode 1, thank you. I also believe episode 1. The Silent Age. Shh. You don't want to make a noise. You don't want to make a noise. The present. Looks like just another Tuesday as Joe sweeps down the floors of the anonymous cold office hallways. Then he notices the note. A meeting. With the brass. With the brass? Little does he know that today is about to take a very dramatic turn. Okay, sure. So, Joe. Just your average Joe. 1965. That's important. Ah, uh, he's a painter. Well, you know... 1968 Let's see how, how his life has changed Okay, during the times of war, I'm guessing 1968, what what happened there? Any major events? Um, not, that, not that I can think of, 1969 Now, the Cold War Buffet, all you can eat Okay, this is a very, very, very quiet game. <laughs> not nothing. I'm not used to. Well, I'm. It's something I'm not used to actually. I'm used to like loud, nice, fun pop games. Whoa, his life. His life did not get any better. Scrubbing toilets now. Hmm. Nineteen. 72. Let's see if anything good happened. Ah, the present. Okay, uh, it's gonna be one of those. Walk to, walk to Red Axis card. It's a Red Axis card reader. It uses flat cards instead of keys. This company is full of modern technology. So I guess we're gonna have to get one. Walk to door. Wait, there's a note. There's a sticky note the near door. It says, Joe, Mr. Hill wants to see you, Frank. Let's get in. Mr. Hill. Okay. This is, is this some kind of interrogation room? Okay, I'll change the light bulb. Last one. Needs a replacement. Use light bulb. Uh, how do I replace? There, that should work. There we go. Wow, bright. <laughs> That's what you get. It's my chair. Frank is gone. Has a good one. Oops. These barrels were bought in here about four years ago. I don't mind them. I have plenty of space and they hardly smell at all. Okay, maybe I'll walk to this sit, sit here. Yeah, yeah, privileges. One of these rubber gloves used for cleaning things in the lab. I'll just leave with it since Frank isn't in there. I need my blue access card. Where are your access cards, bro? Oh, there's the access card. <laughs> blue access card. Let's go. 
This is a very nice game, by the way. Super, super quiet. I'm not sure what this is all about. I'm not sure if it's a horror. If it's a blue access card, this company keeps tight security. I really don't know what it's all mostly about. I don't know if it's a horror game. I have, I have no idea. Okay. Oh, hey. No, don't smoke. I, uh... Okay. What's the matter, sugar? Can't catch your tongue? Just get your honey in there. <laughs> sure thing, madam. Sure thing. Ooh, look at that leather door. These people are rich. Damn, look at that. That's a good performance chart. It's like from the bottom to the top, yo. Ah. Of Nixon, it's our president, Honest Richard. I call him. Think it'll catch on. It's, it's Jill, sir. Of course, Jill. How long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Damn. By now, you must know that what we do here is very important. I'm sure of it. Uh huh. Thank you, um, thank you, sir. I will continue to do the good work. Huh. Maybe I should walk to secretary. Maybe she has something to say. It's Gloria. Okay, never mind. Well, I guess I just got promoted and that's a good thing. So we should go to the second floor. Second level. There we go. Open sesame. Please do not break or wreck or anything. What is that? Tin foil hat. Are you going to take it? Are you still going to take it? Frank used to tell a story about activist break in. Some of them would wear homemade protection like this. But since, okay. Open up. Let's get into it. What is all this? Monitor unit. Reminds me of the Pong machine they used just to go down at Lizzie's. That, that thing's amazing. I've been down there almost every night after hours since they set it up. Frank says it'll fry my brain. Never mind, whatever. Probably not that important. Okay. That's broken. Use this plastic. There we go. 
You see, you have to have big brain to play these games, kids. That's why you must, you know, something fell out of the coat, hangry chief. Okay, I'll just, I'll just use that. It's very expensive data processing unit. It doesn't use, actually say expensive, but it's a fair guess. Liquid material. Two people. Uh, this, okay. Yeah, but like... This blood. Okay, I'll have to get this to management. Let's go. Because there's somebody died. Somebody died. Because there's blood and a closed door. So, this is not good. Where? The hatch is open, but I don't remember hearing any... Um... Something weird is going on. Something real weird is going on. Wait, what am I going to do with this thing again? Eh. Let's just go to um uh, to the boss. And then we talk to the secretary. And we'll find out what the heck is going to happen. Goulet. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. Uh, no, I, I mean, yeah. Heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No, no, it, it's. Come on, man. Dude. But I'm not the one who No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now, let's see what Gloria has for you. Nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. You'll be as good as new. No! Dude! Now run along, you little scamp. Dude! Dude, honestly, man, what am I going to do with that? Okay, I'm just going to walk down and see if there's anything I can do with the band-aid. And if there's nothing I can do with the band-aid, I will just go back up. I'll just go back up and uh, because this guy's an idiot. Just stutters. You have to, you know, be firm, man. Be firm. Oh, I think I can just press open the door and then band-aid it. With left door. Yep. And then. Boom. Excellent. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoa. What happened to Abraham Lincoln? Ooh. Mister, are you all right? You're you're bleeding. Huh. That's that's a lot of blood. Uh, stay right here. I'll go get help. No. No. Don't, Don't get anyone. Why? Are you alone? Yeah, this guy's definitely going to be alone for a while. Are you alone? Yes. Yes, I came down here by myself. Yeah. Ah, oh, crud. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What? What's important is that you understand what I'm about to tell you now. Okay, this just got interesting. This down. I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention. You're standing on the brink of an extinction level event. Yo. Set in motion by greedy halfwits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. Ye. What did you get yourself into? I'm partially to blame. And though I realized our folly in time, less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I've arrived from 
So you plan to die here. Oh. You look flexible enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for me. Uh. Interesting. It is a portable interdimensional planar membrane chrono seek instrument. Wow, yeah, you simpler terms, please. This guy is like, oh, oh, good. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. <laughs> I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <laughs> Go. 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 Mister? Mister? He's dead, bro. No, 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 no. He's, he's dead. I think he's dead. Oh, gosh, I don't. Get get help. What the uh... right there, sir. Listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. There's a lot of blood. He needs help. Yes. Okay. I work here. You know me. I keep your hands where I can see him. Palms flat against the wall. Damn it. The police are on their way. Who shot the guy? Okay, I'm in prison now. Chapter 2. The Future. I don't want to be unreasonable here. All I wanted some simple answers to some simple questions. I am not sure they're so simple. Okay, so good cop, cop, bad cop, eh? Okay, whatever. Uh, isn't that bad for a cop? You don't say... Okay. I give you some simple questions. You give me some simple answers. We're all home before dark. How's that sound? <laughs> you mind telling me what you do? Crap. Take your time. Uh, how are we gonna get out of this one, bro? Uh, I already told him the truth twice and he just stared at me, then asked me again. I'm not sure I want to provoke him. Okay. Where did the lights go? <laughs> Hello? What the hell just happened? Man, that's bright. What happened? 
I just press the time machine button and then boom. I think I'm in the future. What happened? What is this? What happened? Okay. Let's go up. I'm really confused. It doesn't look like the police station at all. Um. Okay. Locked. Suicide. Woo. Okay, uh, hammer. Useful. Doesn't have a claw. There must be a better way out. How about here? Office door. Maybe it, this is the key to that office door. Doesn't fit. Uh, this is too much to explore. Oh, this is a lot to explore. Did I just go back the same place I just... Is this the same place I just came out of? Yep. Same place. Damn, this place is huge, number one. Now let's get higher. Okay, higher. Ah, Lincoln, my old buddy, old pal. Okay, uh, hammer it. Nope. What the hay is going on here? Door's tight in place. It's too tight to untie. Maybe I could find something sharp. Yeah, I need something sharp, but hammer is not sharp. Okay, okay, I just this might be totally far out but what if time travel guy was right what if the weird box in my pockets actually took me out there in the future i mean think about it joe what are the possible explanation could it be you're not dreaming this damn for th that's damn sure yeah the handle's broken off so let's get in oh let's freaking hammer it um Oh, I never even thought about that other door that this key could be for. Let's open that up. And then we'll find out what else to do. Key. Yep. Into there. Uh-huh. Hammer. Nope. What, uh... Uh, police idea that they're seriously creeping me out. Yeah. Come on, I can't even break a rusty old padlock with a hammer. Maybe out of shape, but this is stupid. Come on. Come on. Come on, I need the sharp thing. It's like... Come on. Damn it. This guy's impossible. Weak. Weak. Why do I always give us the weak characters? Oh, there's a basement. Count three steps. The first two will find the third seem to be somewhere in the basement. If I get down there without breaking my legs, I won't be able to get back up again. I really don't want to go down that basement. Fine. Goodness, I guess we'll have to leave it here. With this dead man. Wow, this is not good. I think that's the guy who was going to beat me up. <laughs> Definitely the guy who was going to beat me up. Well, I'm not very 100% sure what to do next. So, I will figure that out. And you guys can get back here in the next episode. I will see you. Bye-bye.